Welcome to Monday Night Art. And I'm here to draw tonight a video game character. And her name is Sakura from the Street Fighter series. It's a teenager female fighter. And she's a really good fighter. She look up to Ryu as a, you know, a Street Fighter fan. So here we go. Now the color pencil that I'm using right now is a studio series. That's the brand of it. And it has 50 color pencils. It's premium colored. Now, it's not my favorite color pencils, but it does the job. And if you're new to color pencils, if you're a beginner, you want to use Crayola color pencils. Those, <clears throat> they work really good. But the problem with them is they run out really fast. And if you don't sharpen it the right way, your pencil lead will fall out of the color pencil. <laughs> so you need to be very careful how you sharpen the pencil. And if you don't, you'll be sharpening forever. You'll be sharpening it until the whole thing is gone. So you better be careful. Now, back to this deluxe colored pencil set thing that I'm using. I'm using color brown again. And I have to switch around using brown, you know, to dark brown, to brown, light brown, because I don't have my pencil sharpener. I should have been more prepared. I should have brought my pencil sharpener with me, but I forgot about it. Now I have to work with what I have. Now you could say I could go and get the pencil sharpener, but it's nighttime. Now I don't want to wake anyone up, especially my daughter. So. I'm just going to work with what I have. Now, after I outline and draw my character, I'm going to color it. And what I'm going to color with is I'm going to use this color pencil is called Castle Art Set Supplies. It has 72 Primo color pencils in there. And it's really nice. I like how the color turns out when you color and blend and do shadows and light light effects on there is really good john is very fun when you when you have the quiet time for yourself to draw it's really fun it's, it's kind of like meditating you releasing all the how can i say this bad energy if you have bad energy inside of you the good thing about being an artist is you're the creator. You could draw whatever you want to draw. You could do whatever you want to do. You could color how you want to color, what angle you want to do, what type of character or background, you know, scenery, landscape, whatever you want to call it. You could be as creative as you could be. It's like you've been, uh, right, the creator. And, um, you cannot be wrong when you're, when you're drawing your own picture. You can't be wrong. No one can tell you how to draw. No one can tell you how to color, or how this should be, how this should be. You're the creator. You can do whatever you want. Your picture is not wrong unless you say it's wrong. And that's the good thing about art. Art is everywhere. Even if it comes with cars, houses, toys, electronics, they gotta make a blueprint before they actually make it. And that's part of art. Now this part of the video, I'm running out of dark brown. And I'm be switching to my other art set, which is called Castle Art Supplies, that I told you earlier. Those work better. And I also forgot to explain that, as you can see, I'm drawing on the table by having problems because I'm uncomfortable sitting on the chair because I'm not used to it. I've been drawing and coloring on the floor for so long, like getting used to the, the chair and table is, that's going to take some time. I've been drawing on the floor for like, I'll say like 10 years straight. No, not 10 years. I'll say 12 years. Yeah. 
on the floor is like you got a lot of space. Like you could just spread out and stretch and you could draw however you want. On the table, you got a certain amount of space that you could use. And it's, it's not enough. It's not enough space for me. And actually, I could draw faster and quicker than what you're seeing right now. Even though I got it speed up, but I'm talking about getting normal speed. I could draw quicker, and I also could color faster. But I was unprepared. I wasn't sure what I wanted to draw and what color pencils I was going to use. I didn't have my pencils sharpened with me, so. If I would have if I would have been ready, this picture would have turned out way better. But it still turned out good. But my expectations is you no know, way better than what you see right now. For the people who wants to know when I start drawing, I start drawing when I was four years old. And uh in my first memory of drawing when I was in a classroom. I think in kindergarten, I was drawing on the, on a bulletin board. I was just drawing and drawing, and drawing. I was drawing Ninja Turtles. I was drawing Pac-Man. I was drawing stick figures. I was drawing ducks, cats, and 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 the other kids was looking at me like, "Wow, how's he drawing so good?" And I was like, "Well, I'm just drawing." And and I guess I kept that that thought in my head like, hmm, I am good at when I'm drawing. So I kept up with my talent. In age of six to seven, that's when I started getting serious. I would draw Ninja Turtles. First, I would draw their head, like they, they, they full head on a sheet of paper. And after I draw it and color it, I would cut it out. Then I'll draw their legs. Then cut it out. And then I'll draw their body, their arms, their weapons. I will color it. Then cut it out. And then I will either glue it or tape it together. And then I'll hang it on my wall. And another thing that I used to do. I would see my mom play Legend of Zelda a lot. So I'm like, this is cool. And my imagination just went through the roof. I ran into the living room and I see some cardboard like laying around. So I would draw on a cardboard and I would cut that out and I would make I would make a lynx shield and a lynx sword. And I would put it all together, tape it up, color it, and I'll just start running around, pretending I'm I'm in the video game. And I'm Link. <laughs> but at the time, I thought his name was Zelda, but I didn't know that. I didn't know any better. But that's that's what got me into drawing. I used to draw The Simpsons. The favorite character was Bart. So I would draw Bart a lot. And then once I got older and older, I began to draw different characters. I started to draw like video game characters. Because I was into video games. So I would draw like Bomberman and stuff like that. Mario, Sonic, and then I started to get into comic books. So I started drawing Spider Man and Batman and and the X Men, all types of things. Anything that I could find, I I know I could draw it. I would draw it or I'd try to draw. It was just fun. It was just fun for me searching what to look through and just draw it. The coloring at that time, the coloring, I wasn't good at. I was just good at drawing because I was using those regular Crayola crayons. Those crayons, ugh. I'm glad I don't use those anymore. <laughs> I'm glad I moved to color pencils. Now, I still have those pictures too. I still have all my pictures since I was seven years old. One day I will show you those pictures too. All those art pictures that I created through the years. Age seven to now, I got all my art. And I don't throw away none of them. I don't throw away a single picture. I keep all of them. 
even if I mess up a picture when it's done, I keep it. Mm. So now I'm using the regular brown for a hair, which I'm finally glad I don't have to use that dark brown anymore because it was way, way deep into the wood of the pencil and I couldn't really color anymore. So mm, I'm surprised how this picture turned out for what I had to use. But I'm so creative, I guess I could do anything. I can make anything work. Masterpiece art. Hope you all enjoying the video. Please like and subscribe and share. Because I will be creating more videos for me doing my art thing. Which is Monday Night Art. Enjoy the rest of the video. I will see y'all on the next video. Peace.